All right, we are back in a niche machine for pigs. I don't. Okay. Okay. Oh. Don't mind me just drinking a little bit of soda. Hello. <coughs> Upsy Daisy. Quickly, Mantis, find the entrance nearby. The children weep in the darkness, and the flood waters continue to rise. Well, that's symbology if you've ever heard it. Bruised and battered, but alive. I have survived the saboteur's best efforts. He and I are now locked in an epic struggle. But I am driven to find my family, and I will prevail. Ignore the madness about me. Do not consider what cruel and unspeakable acts have been committed here. Find the way to the bilge. Drain the flood. Free your children. So I fell down whatever that thing's called, I forgot. I was in one of those in Outlast, too. When Traeger found me. Traeger! Are you just bending? Can I not make you fall down? Boop! Boop! Hey. I'm the mascot from Pixar. Meow. We must see what there is around the room. The light cast from this is a little bit different. If they were crafty, what they could do is make it so the light had, had to be used to show things, like specific things on the wall. Ugh. Uh, in order to facilitate assimilation of tissue groups, a compound is required, or the cells will not bond. Disposal of non-bonded subjects must be immediate, and using incineration or... Something feels weird about that sentence. Or we risk continuous animation without form. This is... unpleasant. A simple compound of one part Brandenburg infusion vitae and to one part orgon monad dispersal fluid is sufficient. This can be the an this can be administered intravenously to subjects following reassembly to maintain bonding. The compound is unstable and highly light reactive. Once in the body, the Schumann lamp can be used to activate the compound, but outside the body is highly corrosive. It can even destroy small quantities of metal. Aha! That would be what the light is for. So I need to find some of this compound. What am I grabbing? Chair! So they were clever with the light. Now I simply must discern what this compound is. And what the hell am I grabbing? Oh, apparently I'm grabbing the lamp from over there. I have telekinetic power! York. Oh, there's a jar. Nearly invisible in the darkness. But ow! Eh, 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 eh. The build pump is locked, is simply what this is gonna say. There's clearly another passage beyond the locked gates. It seems I have a choice of approach. The padlock is all but firm and after that I cannot summon the strength to break it open. And after that fall, actually. Perhaps I can find another way. A more complicated way. A way so complex that not even the smartest person would think of to do it unless they had read the notes that I had read. Wee. Wee. 
Oui. <gasps> glasses. I win. These glasses will defeat even the greatest of beasts. Also, another journal. The centrifuge. It's some sort of bizarre mixing device for chemical compounds, and it's positively... It positively reeks of the foul fluids that I have seen too often before. It is clearly a compound, some volatile bastard of two composite ingredients. I should wager I would find them close by. It's like the game is telling me what I need to do. As if it knows that some people might get stuck at this point. Oh, this would be a perfect place to be ambushed by pigmen. I say it, and it kind of happens. That would be my dog. Inflamed it is, burning it does, bleeding from each hole, fore and aft, leaking down my legs, blood and excrement. My lungs are in my vomit. I pass clots of my organs now into the filthy stone. Drink this, he says, and I did drink it. I did do that, because of the changes. They ripple inner me. My teeth sneeze out and scatter like mice in the dark. Ugh. I cannot find them all. Gathered what I can, push them back in my gray gums with my fingers, but the nails are all weepy and falling out. Ugh. Drink it, he says. It'll help with the running of the fever. Because not us all can take the change. On the other table, a beast under a blanket. I never wanted to see under that. But he drank it too. He passed it under the blanket and I heard it drink. Dear God Almighty, how can a man shit so much blood and still live? Yep. That's what you do. In real life, you just pull random levers and hope that something pops out for you to use. Huh? Sorry, I didn't catch that. One more time. Uh, what? Oh, I still have no fucking idea. Wait, what? Oh, God. Did that come in this way? Did the hallway change? I feel like it changed. Wait, what? No! No! Oh, screw you! You can have whatever that was that I just took. It fell onto his hands and they eroded in front of me. To stumps. To stumps. Next time we will use an equal mix of infusion vita and orgone disperser. No, no, just take him out. You can dump him in the river for all I care. Big man. I need that back. Fuck! Shit! Okay, see? That- what? Okay, look. Now when I go out, the hallway's gonna be different. Wait, what the hell? I don't get what happened there. I mean, because that pneumatic tube clearly did not do that. Go get in there. Or get in there. That works too. I hear you moving around in here, in the holding pens. 
Silence. Do not startle or upset the acquisitions. What if I didn't want to upset them? What if I didn't want to uh, bring joy to them? Would that be upsetting? Just pet them. Tickle their ribs. Also, Thorax, you said Goog. Goog job. Teddy! You followed me down here! Took delivery of another batch of imbeciles today. They are the sorriest specimens of humanity I've ever seen. No one asks where they go to. The authorities of Bedlam are simply happy to reduce the overcrowding in their teeming, stinking halls. We measure their skulls, check their teeth, we give them laudanum to pacify them. They wait in line, livestock. Dull brown eyes and filthy skin. Many soli soil. Well, Sully would have worked. Soil themselves as they wait. Into the manipulator they file in silence. I hear the hissing of gas. I hear the dull groaning as teeth are removed. As bones are reset, I hear the pigs screaming. We have removed all the mirrors. After the process, it is their reflections that trouble them the most. Afterwards, when they sleep, I walk amongst them. My children, I whisper to their dreams, you are my children now. I have children once again, and your forms are imperfect. Your forms imperfect will be the engines to make my own blood flow again. Told you they were people. Come on, Daddy. Whoop, boo, whoop, boo, whoop, boo. Pigman. Over there, place it in the corner. What? You think I speak Prussian? Do I look like an inbred hog, sir? More pig Who gives a damn what it contains? Just set it down carefully and leave me be. What? Is this door now mysteriously locked? As if the lock fell in place because the door closed on its own? No way. Come bearing gifts, pigmen. Oh, I'm gonna see a pigman soon. Shit. I can see you, pigman. Well, I could. What are you doing over there, pigman? Did you not want my teddy bear? He can comfort you at night. Be with you in the darkness when nothing else is there and you're cold and all alone. Pigman! I'll leave it here for you. Alright. I'm bringing it down. Pigman. If I give you the teddy bear, you do not kill me. I'm gonna answer this phone over here. The lift has been sabotaged. You will have to find another way to the tunnel. Take care in this place, Landis. It is the crucible of the evil that stalks these corridors. Ooh, it is the crucible. Crucible's a fun word. It's also a really good play about McCarthyism. But that's a story, that's a talk for another time. Gears! I can't grab gears. This is simply a game of me throwing levers. Big man, I left Teddy down there for you. You can have him. Clearly, I need to walk across there. And I can't walk across there because there is steam. Also, there's a pig man coming. He's around the corner. <laughs> oh, the creepy kids. Teddy! Teddy, what are you doing? Okay, so if this is supposed to be symbolic of the kids le leaving their toys around, I found like four teddy bears. How many are they carrying with them? Oh! Oh! What's your name? 
I'm your father, but I forgot your name. It's not important. Here's your teddy bear. Oh. More experiments with Compound X. Took the dog and injected it with striking. Strike nine. Strike nine. After the expected convulsions and spasming, it died just after midnight. I immersed the body in a large tank of Compound X and introduced an alternating current via induction coil for a period of three and a half minutes. Partial return was induced. However, damage incurred prior to death was retained upon a revival, meaning the dog continued in the, in the acute state of strychnine poisoning until I put a bullet in its skull. But drowning? Perhaps yes. It is after all known to be the kindest of suicides. If one were to drown, replacing the fluid in the lungs with compound X should be theoretically be perfectly possible as a revival method. Oh, Teddy. I almost forgot you. Come on. Wee 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 Oh, that didn't work. I must be here now. I've gone from there to there. And I shall descend even further into the machine. Into the sausage pit. Into the, the I don't know. I don't know. I was gonna come up with crafty names for the rest of them, but I didn't. I couldn't tell. Mhm. 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 Okay. This is what I would do. I would totally crawl around in the areas without the pipe or with the pipes. You know, the steaming hot pipes that have steam. Oh, frack you! I know I was supposed to grab something from there, and I went so far and I forgot to grab whatever it was because I didn't see it. So I'm gonna go back through. This is me backtracking. This is fun times. Fun times are had by all. Oh, Pigman. Hi, Pigman. I'm gonna keep running. I opened that door. I don't recall closing that door. I don't remember doing that. So the steam is off. see that. But where's the thing that I need to put in here? Aha! Oh, I can just do this. I knew I could do that. I assumed I could. It just looked like a complete pipe before. So I didn't actually make the connection. So saying I knew I could is not exactly correct. Interesting how the button starts glowing. Okay. So why... D I understand that it in the mechanics of the game, but as like a story process why did the doors close the moment I hit the button for the centrifuge how does that make sense a heady brew I have the compound it hisses and steams in the container like some living thing a witch's jelly to burn and corrode the container is made from glass a strange choice unless there's some particular reason why the metal that pervades everywhere else cannot be brought into contact with this so-called compound X I should investigate for further clues Nope, didn't work. Remember to turn the lights out before you leave. I 
And... Huzzah! Jesus Christ, I didn't even slam it! So I literally just ran that jar, like, a little bit into the door. Enough to, like, just get it on the door and it just exploded. Shattered into a million pieces. Down here, Daddy. Faster, faster! Faster, faster! Oh wait, no, the Thames is in London. The Seine is in France. Gotcha! That's the first time I took damage in this game. This will be the second. this leaking world. The bottle of gin was empty. Sleep seemed impossible. Above the skyline of London, he could only see the temple rising into the smog. The temple. The temple rising into the smog. so that I might break this up into parts. I'm going to take a moment here.